What is up everyone? I'm Stonewall. Today we're going to be looking at this awesome Chinese tea house modular building from Laws. It is set number 1023 and has 1,645 pieces. Let's build it.
So there you go, an awesome build from Laws. If you're unfamiliar with their bricks, they are 75% the size of Lego. We have a really awesome Chinese tea house here. It was a lot of fun to build. I'm really glad they started making these mini figure scaled modular buildings. In the past, they just made the micro scaled street mini lineup, which those are really cool too. Be sure to check those out if you haven't. Like I said, it was a lot of fun to build, a lot of brick building on the back walls, which is cool. And I just love how it's a corner building. So you have like kind of two facades and just more complex roof. So here's a closer look at the tea house. It looks amazing. I think everything about this set is just really great. As you can see, there's just tons of detail everywhere. Big sign out front that says Chaguar, which is tea house. It just looks great. I love this set. It is obviously a corner build, so you can put the modulars going either way from it. If it's your only one, you can just display it at an angle like that. It looks really good. I like how they have the three roofs there along with the balcony on the second floor. There's a big sidewalk area in the front. The entryway is on an angle. There's no door on the set, which is a little interesting. I don't know if they just didn't want to build one at that angle or if they just wanted to leave it open so you could see inside. Either way, you can see there is still tons of detail around the windows, these banners hanging here, lots of Chinese lanterns. There are 10 paper lanterns on this set, which was a little pain to put them all together, but it looks great. Some fancy window on the side here. It even has these kind of stone lions on either side of the entryway. On the second floor, there is more lanterns, tons of greebling everywhere. There is that really big balcony, which is nice. There are a couple things of bamboo growing on either side of it. And then that roof has just that three planes of the roof with all that detail. I think it just looks really great. Coming around the side, you can see that the sides of this are both the same and they look pretty great, especially considering that they'll probably be covered up most of the time. There is some patches of stone. All these shutters have a little gold piece inset on them. And even just this accent detail work there looks really good. I really like these arches on the roof. There are two big stickers that cover up all these bricks and the sticker graphic looks nice but it is definitely not necessary. Feel free to leave that off if you don't want it. Like other modular buildings the floors and the roof come off in sections. So let's take the roof off. So the roof pops off like that. Like I said I really love this roof. They made that roof detail that they do on all the other modulars look really good on the corner. And then we'll take the second floor off to get a closer look. Just pop that back on. So as you can see, there is a ladder connecting the first floor to the second floor for the minifigures. Just pop that off real quick. So looking inside, whoop, we got a fish that fell off of the plate there. But there is a plate and some drinks on the table there. A couple bottles and a mug. There's a nice print for a Chinese painting up top. I really like those prints. Around in the corner there is a bookshelf. Has various drinks and containers there holding different teas and whatnot. Coming around you can see there is a railing for the area where the second floor and the first floor go up with that ladder. And then there's just a potted flower thing right there and that leads off to the balcony. Which the balcony just looks really good. I like that balcony. And then the first floor inside we got a, another fish falling off the plate there. Another table looks pretty close to the other one. A couple stools, some bottles there, and a mug. And then another bookshelf in the back there with various drinks and canisters uh, containing tea, most likely. Another potted flower. And then there is a counter for the clerk to stand behind, take your order and serve you, check you out, that kind of thing. And then all these windows open on the set. So you can open all these windows. 
tons of windows. That's what one, two, three, four, five windows on the first floor. And the second floor, oh, it just has one. No. And the second floor has three as well. So tons of windows you can open up. And you can just put the modular back together as you would expect. You have to be a little caref careful with these roof pieces like that on the first floor because it is kind of a snug fit and they get in the way a little bit. But you can pretty easily get it back on there without too much trouble. And they definitely add to the look. So I'm glad they're there. It is definitely hard to do from behind a camera. There we go. And then the roof goes on top. I did have one missing piece in this set, as you might have seen from the speed build. It's that big triangle piece right there. Thankfully in my extra parts inventory I had another one. It is obviously a different color, but it worked. Um, so that would have been a real pain if I didn't have that piece. Would have been a gap there. I guess you could have tried to build it up with some other plates. Usually these sets have all their pieces. They in fact often have tons of extra pieces. So missing pieces are pretty rare. Um, I've had a couple problems with the minifigures of other sets in the past, but I've never missed but I've never been missing a piece that big. So that was kind of a bummer. There is a missing piece uh, thing that like Lego has. Except for all the instructions are in Chinese, so I'm not entirely sure if it works outside of China. I haven't attempted that yet. Since I had that extra piece, I am just going to use it instead. Taking a closer look at the minifigures, the set comes with a little family. It is probably their house that they own. There is a lady here with a tan dress piece along with a light green top. She has her hair up in a ponytail and has a little saucer, which I imagine is for this cat this cat piece. So you have this cat piece. Then you have this guy, looks like a cowboy. He's got some blue pants on, a white top, and a cowboy hat. And then you have a younger looking guy. He's got some gray pants and a light blue top and a short cut black hair. He is holding this giant thing, which I think is like a, a noisemaker probably. Either that or like fireworks on a stick. If you know, let me know in the comments. Not entirely sure what that is, but he sure seems to be enjoying it. So there you go, after a closer look, let me know what you thought about it. I think it looks amazing. Uh, nice interiors and just tons of details, like these little lion statues. The balcony is really cool. And I just, I just really like it. I did have that problem with that missing piece, which I pointed out, which is not too big of a concern for me since I had a spare. Uh, it's a different color, but that doesn't matter. It would really be unfortunate if you didn't have that. So that would suck, but you could probably make do with some other pieces to fill in that gap. Usually not a concern. I hardly ever have missing pieces in these sets, but I just really like the set a lot. Let me grab the other two modulars so we can see what they all look like together in a lineup. So this is what all three of them look like together. You can see the tea house is on the side here. Um, it's obviously a corner building, so the other ones could go on either side. I think they look really good together. Um, I like how they are in the same style. They have similar roofs, but they're still all a little bit different. And I just think they look really good together. I'll turn it around so you can see the back side of it. You can see on the corner modular, you see that kind of big wall, but even it looks pretty good. And then these other two have really great backgrounds or backsides. So that's the tea house modular building. I think it's my favorite out of the three. Let me know which one you liked the best. And if you haven't checked out these two other buildings, they're on my channel as well. Um, but I recommend you get all three. I think they look great together. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can catch the next video.